Hey, dude, uh, I, oft, I often get asked with, with players and parents and coaches, you know, what is my glove action? How do I come through the ball? Do I, do I funnel everything? Do I pick through everything? My, I remember my little league coach would always tell me, you know, always pick through everything. And then when I got to high school, my, my, my coach said, no, you're funneling everything, you're receiving the ball. I, I know what I think, but I'm curious of, of what you think. What approach should a, should a kid take? Well, I think a lot of it is, is what hop do you actually get? Where are you in the ball, the last hop that actually hits the ground? But you need to use all of them. There's a time where that ball is going to take that hop where I'm kind of given with the ball. Then there's the short hop where you actually want to work through the short hop. So in different types of hops will create that, what am I actually doing with my body and how am I working to, to get a smooth approach and getting the correct hop through the ball. So a good drill that, uh, that we can work on is if you toss the ball up in the air, we call it the bomb drop drill. What do you call it? I call it the high short hop. The high short hop drill. We always want to try to create the short so hop. So this one, we're going to create the short hop. We can use two hands to do it and work through. We can just use our glove hands and just kind of see it and kind of pick and come through. Now, the hard ball, that's the one that we're going to kind of, the hard hit ball that's rolled really fast. That's the ball that I'm going to kind of, that's what I'm gonna kind of bring in a little bit because I'm using the flow and the speed of the ball to feel and get into my smooth throwing position. If the ball's hit hard like that, you don't want to pick through and kind of get your, because now I'm away from my body. I want to make sure that I'm in a good position and I'm working my hands. So I'm not actually funneling and stopping. I'm kind of bringing it into my, into my throwing position. That's what it should look like is this, not so much this. So that's the difference between do I one hand, do I short hop, do I funnel? So all of that stuff is effective and certain times. So I hope I answered your question, Coach yeah, Lou. Absolutely. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, visit our website at www.dominatethediamond.com.